Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. This is the last time that I'll take that dog of ours riding in a car. I'll tell you that. I've heard that one before. Well, this time I mean, Bluff, will you kindly take your foot off of my head? Stop. I don't. Papa will scold. Papa will slit your throat. Don't be hurt, Bluff. That means he loves you. Oh, David, I wonder what the package is waiting for us at the express office. Can't you wait and see? Oh, I hate to wait and see. Yeah, I know. That silly man who called. You think he could have looked and told us? No, he just says package here for you, ma'am, and he leaves me dying in suspense. Well, you certainly have a strong constitution. You have too, dear. Thank you. Bluff sits on your shoulders as if he were a feather. Bluff, this is the last time I'll ask you to take your mealy paw off of my shoulder. Oh, my, he's so stern. Bluff can't help himself, David. He's delirious with joy. He loves riding cars. Don't you, Bluff, old oh, fellow? For Bluff, then, I'll have to turn this convertible in for a two-ton truck. <laughs> You think he'd be happier in a two-ton truck? Well, wait a minute. I'll ask him. Bluff, would you be happier in a two-ton truck? He doesn't answer, David. A convertible is obviously too small for a Great Dane. Smaller for two Great Danes. Oh, holy Moses, that's right. Mm, that's right. Any day now, the Pringles dog will be arriving. Oh, home. I hope it'll be soon. You do, too. Right now, Bluff is all of the dog that I need. Don't fool me. Oh, Bluff, he's just excited. And in the car, he's like a bull in a china shop. Yeah. An elephant in a china shop. Well, same thing. Lucky for us, it's not much further to the station. That dog is getting... Now, see what you've done. You've broken his heart. And he's broken my back. Bluff, will you sit down? I can't see out of the rear window with you standing up. Sit down. Bluff, Papa can't see you with you standing up. Very funny. (laughs) Traffic would be crawling along this morning. Mm, Wouldn't it, though? Just when there's a package waiting for me. Is that all you can think about? Yeah, practically. Yeah. See why traffic should be crawling so, though. Oh, we're early for your train, aren't we? Yeah, very early. David, watch out for that car! Where did that come from? From behind Bluff's head, where do you think? Fine business. Whose idea was it to bring him along? It was a terrible idea, wasn't it? That is an understatement. Mm. It was yours, darling. What was? The idea, to bring Bluff along. Are you criticizing me for giving my dog a square deal? I certainly am not. Well, it sounded as if you were going to... all the... the, 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 Now, no need for you to get excited. Honestly. We won't discuss it any further. All my life, I have never heard of anybody. You invited Bluff along for the ride. Well, what if I did? Simple, nobody criticized. Well, nobody better have. David, what's the matter, darling? Oh, nothing's the matter, except we darn near got ourselves killed a moment back. Well, we didn't. So what's the use of worrying? (sighs) You had your car accident, darling. You won't have another. Don't be car shy. Hmm. You're pretty smart, aren't you? Well, I love you. I think you do. I do. I apologize to you, Bluff, old man. I'm glad to have you aboard. Only sit down, Bluff, and keep your head inside the window. Gosh, a great day is an awful lot of dog. (laughs) Don't sound so rueful. Fancy words. Remember, we're going to soon acquire another. Well, I expect that'll take the load of bluff off of us. Always on the trail of a little romance, aren't you? Yep, I love romance. (laughs) Bluff understood what we're talking about. (laughs) Probably. Good, let him. David, we're not going to be the kind of parents who spell words out in front of their children, are we? I should say we're not. Oh, that's good. Well, we're here at last. At last is right. <laughs> oh, I wonder what the package is. I wonder what the package is. I wonder, I wonder just is. exactly how many times you've asked me that since we left the house. Six times, I counted. Congratulations. My, my, my. Look at all the cars. They were lucky we found a space to park in. Okay. Pile out. All right. Now, listen, you you hold Bluff while I... I got it. I got it. Take it easy, boy. Take it Bring easy. Bring his leash, David. Well, what for? He's all right. He, he minds me. He won't run off. Oh, sure. <laughs> Quiet, fellow. You're not at home now. Quiet. That's Oh, that's not my train. That's the express. Oh, that's good. Oh, sort of brisk today, isn't it? You dressed warmly enough, darling? Mm-hmm. What about you? Oh, I know I am, but 
I didn't know if you were. Oh, stop worrying about it. Can't I be interested even? No, you can't be interested even. <laughs> What's the use of being a wife? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, there's the express place. Do you want to go in or, or shall I? Mm, I better hold Bluff out here. He's getting pretty friction. All right. Well, goodbye. Won't be long. Take your time. I will. Hello? Hey, hello, is anybody there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, are you the man I see about a package? Yeah, I'm he. Good. Uh, someone just telephoned me about a package. Name? Norton. I- is something I can carry, I hope? I don't know, I ain't seen it. Oh. All packages are kept in the back room. I just came on duty. Found this list of telephone. You were on it. Well, I, I didn't lose much time in coming. Where is it? In the back room, I said. Oh. I'll get it for well, you. Well, I hate to rush you, but my I'll husband... get it. Just as soon as I finish checking this here list. Oh. It's early yet. You got all day. But my husband Time's has... Time's never saved by rushing. There we are. Everything, all checks fine. Good. Now, what's it to you? Oh, nothing. Only it just means that... You can get my package for me. I said I would, didn't I? Well, uh... Now, where are the keys to the back room? They're never hanging where they're supposed to. Somebody always walks off with them. Hmm. Not the desk, either. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, are now, they... Now, don't uh... rush me. Can't stand being rushed. I'll find the keys. Look, I'm You've really... You've got to be systematic. First look here... Then look there, not in the desk, not out the desk. Where, where, where? Oh, there they are, hanging on the nail where they're supposed to. Well, that's just what I well, was Somebody must be sick around here, putting the keys on the nail where they're supposed to. I'll get your package. I'll be right out. Thanks. David misses his train. Hey, what's going on in here? He's gone to get the package, Taking finally. Taking time, isn't it? He must be a southern Yankee. Slow as molasses. You cold, darling? No, I'm all right. Well, I wish you'd come in. Is Bluff behaving? No. David, I wish you'd Look, come there in. There he goes. I'll see you. Hey, Bluff! Thought I heard somebody come in. No, I was just talking. No, I got your package. Oh, fine. Well, here, I'll take it. It's inside in the package room still. Oh. Too big for me to carry in here. It is. Then it must you be. Go in and see for yourself. If you don't expect it, you're going to be surprised. All Why right. is it that big? <laughs> Probably could carry me. Carry you? Can't imagine what. Oh, you're doing. you'll imagine. That crate over there. Where? I don't see it. That crate. big one, corner behind the trunk. Well, of all of them. Of all they is right. Oh, for heaven! Oh, the poor darling, all cramped up. That's cruel. She shouldn't have been sent that way. But how else? Oh, darling, I never dreamed it was you. You sweet Calling old dog's thing. Calling dogs diary. <laughs> Now, dogs ain't allowed in here. Better get her out quick. Oh, I'll get her out quick, all right. Oh, just when your papa sees you, you enormous and beautiful, lovely, enormous... You got her pappy, too? No, that's my pappy. Oh, poor thing. Oh, crap. (laughs) That's great. Why didn't you tell us you were coming? Now, easy, darling. I'm just going to try to open the crate. Wait, you ain't the least bit scared. Why should I be scared? Dames are just big sissies, aren't they? They can't help the way they look, can they? Well, you got a leash? Uh, No, you see, we didn't expect... Well, I'll get your rope from the other room. Maybe you can make a noose out of it or something. Oh, you're such a handsome dog. I'm going to love you big and bony and raw and beautiful. Call him. Call him dogs. Darling. I never heard such nonsensical doings. Let me see what I come in. Oh, yeah, I've got to get a piece of rope. I don't want a beast like her running loose. I should don't. Oh, oh. Windy today. Door is pushing open. Now, the rope. Oh, now, now, what's that? Oh, what's jumping your heart up at? It's the dog. Now, now, what are you doing in here? Now, how'd you get loose from that lady? Now, you go on. Go on, go on. Get back in there. Ma'am. Hey, hey, ma'am. Ma'am, you lost your dog. <coughs> I say you lost your dog, ma'am. Now, now, you get away from my desk. Go on, now, get. Now, don't lie down there. You're on my foot. 
My dog got in here. Well, now, can't you see I'm busy? Yes, but I lost my dog. You too? Too? Well, this is sure a day for losing dogs. Well, have you seen a dog? Have I seen a dog, he asked Mine's me. a big dog. A lady in the other room. She's had a dog less than five minutes. She's lost him already. He's on my foot, and I can't move to tell her. The uh, lady in the other room, did you say? You heard me. Now, get off my foot, dog. <laughs> Oh, the Lord grant me courage. Would you mind if I took a look at the oh, dog? You're in here. Listen, darling, come in the other room. I've got a surprise for you. Ma'am, I, you, 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 you've you, lost your dog, ma'am. Oh, no, I haven't uh, lost Claudia, him. was the package the dog? Well, yeah, he's well, lying here under my desk. On my foot, right on my bed. She's Corn, he stunning, is, too. Baby. She's absolutely stunning. A little bit scared, but really beautiful. Really. Look, she's... She's well, stop making you. her assist you. So good. Yes, she is. She is a lovely thing. Hiya, huh? girl. Why didn't you tell us you were coming? It's exactly what I asked her. She didn't answer me either. Isn't anybody going to take this dog off my foot? I don't care whose dog it is. Bluff on his foot, David, and he thought it's it was... no bluff. It's the biggest dog I ever seen. Here, Bluff. Somebody wants to see you. And wait till you see your new boyfriend. <laughs> Now, I want you to take your dog out of here, mister. Or ma'am, depending on whose dog... Well, well, I'll be. There's two of them. They're just getting acquainted. Now, look a here. This isn't the place to... This is a very important moment. David, I hope... Well, don't be silly, God, darling. I, I told you males and females don't fight. Hmm, that's as you think. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I'm trying to tell you. It's against all... Please, don't disturb them. <laughs> Some folks is. Isn't it wonderful, Gus? A case of Coke arrives in a house where there are young people and a party's in the making. For Coca-Cola is the number one party ingredient where youngsters are concerned. And since that 24-bottle case is still only a dollar, it's a mighty inexpensive way to provide a treat. Why not have your grocer or service station attendant put a case of Coke in your car next time you're out? Say, fella, ever seen anything like that? Like what, my friend? All those dogs. Only two. They really want them, eh? (laughs) I'll say they do. Well, it takes all kinds, they say. But tell me, ain't they a heck of a lot of dog around a house? Well, yes, Great Danes always are. They, they've they got the big outdoors to play in, though, and somehow even Danes don't seem so big in the woods or on a spacious lawn. Well, true. And uh, the rest of the family, they all like dogs, too? Uh, the rest of the family consists of a baby, five months old, oh. and Mrs. Brown, Claudia's mother. And Mrs. Brown happens to be very fond of dogs, at least of bluff. The interesting point in this case is, rather, are the dogs fond of her? And if so, which? Yeah, well, that's too complicated for me. One dog is one too many for my money. Yep, some folks is crazy, some folks is. So long, friend. Uh, Stiff upper lip. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember... Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.